What's up, I'm Vin and today I want to show how to construct a 30 degree angle using a compass and straight edge. So what we're going to do first is we're going to construct, we're going to do the construction for an equilateral triangle. So we just set the compass to any length that's big enough that it's going to hit this right here and we swing an arc like this so that it hits the line once. But now we could imagine that the third point of our equilateral triangle would be somewhere over here. So that's where we're going to swing this next arc in this neighborhood over here. So then to find out where exactly would that third point be of our equilateral triangle, we move the compass over to this point here and we swing another arc so that it intersects the arc up here. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to construct a line. And this line, or we could say this ray because it's going to go from point A and then go on forever this way, is going to go like this. Now technically if I wanted to build an equilateral triangle, all I'd have to do is just construct this line here and we'd have an equilateral triangle. But since the goal is to build a 30 degree angle, we don't actually need to draw this line in. And the concept behind this is that to build a 30 degree angle, what we know right now is that because we did the equilateral triangle construction, this angle over here is 60 degrees. So now all we have to do is cut that angle in half. So to cut that angle in half, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the compass and we're gonna do the angle bisector construction for angle A. So what I could do here is I could swing the arc so that it hits both of these lines, but we already did that. So then the next stage is to move the compass over to this intersection point, and we're going to swing an arc like this in this neighborhood over here. So we swing the arc over here from this location, and then we move the compass over to this intersection point, and we swing another arc like this. And we're doing it in such a way so that these two arcs intersect at this point here. So now to construct our 30 degree angle, what we're going to do is we're just going to go from point A and we're going to go out like this and we're going to go through that point of intersection that we just made. So the last thing I'm going to do is just label and we're going to write our conclusion. So we're just going to label these points that we have over here. And we could put a few different names here, but we'll just call this one point B. This will be point C and this will be point D. So then what we could say is there's two ways of saying it that these two angles over here are now going to be 30 degrees because once again we cut a 60 degree angle in half. So I could say it like this, I could say the measure of angle BAD so the measure of angle BAD is 30 degrees or I could say here the measure of angle CAD is equal to 30 degrees. But either way this completes the construction of our 30 degree angle. So we construct the 60 degree angle and then just do the angle bisector construction. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on constructing a 30 degree angle. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.